<laughs> Trying to get some of that crap out before I put in the Zunsport grills. Get all the crap off of here. Okay, so the first thing we're supposed to do is put masking tape along this area to prevent the Zunsport grill from scratching the finish. So we're gonna do that. We have this special masking tape that doesn't stick. I don't know where I got it. I don't know why I keep using it. Now we do our test fit. It seems pretty good. So in case you're wondering if it's positioned correctly, that's where it needs to go, right behind those two things. Uh, as you can see down here on the grill, there's a little bracket. We're gonna put a clip in here on the body that's gonna lock in here. And there's one spot here on each side for a screw and that's gonna screw directly into the, the car here. We are going to mark the location here where we have to install our clip. Okay, we've got our clip on. Uh, we just slide that over this little plastic part. And now we'll take the masking tape off and put the grill on. Okay, a little hiccup. Um, this is just pushing the clip off. It doesn't seem like it'll come off. Well, let's try it again. pushing that clip right off. So, just an FYI, I could not get the clip to stay in place while I pushed the grill in, so I had to use this tool. I just put it behind here and held the clip, and then I was able to push the grill in and it locked just fine. But without that tool, uh, I was not able to do it. Uh, and now we're gonna push the top of the grill in, and that's nice because it sort of locks in place there. Uh, and then from here, we screw the grills in on both sides. There's two of these screws and they hold the grill in. And those screws go right here. I'm actually going to drill pilot holes because I don't want to just try and force it in there. I am just going to screw these in by hand. So this side screws in and we'll do the same on the other side and then that should hold the grill in. Now we're going to do this side. There's three separate pieces that go here. Do you remember if you have parking sensors make sure to order the Zunsport grills with the parking sensor configuration. If it's not shaped like that, it's not going to fit. Uh, bottom one first. Uh, so this piece is causing me some major grief. It just clips in down here. And then this clip goes over this metal piece here and a piece of plastic that it rests against. So you clip them together and that holds it in. And for the life of me, I cannot get this clip over that little metal bracket and the plastic piece. It just ends up clipping onto here and I gotta pull it off and it's a total pain in the ass. This is like my fourth or fifth attempt. So I finally got that clip on. Uh, I just hadn't pulled this thing forward far enough. You've really gotta wedge it in over here until the metal bracket on this piece and the plastic trim back here are flush and then you can put that clip on. Uh, we are getting close. Two more on this side than the other side. I did switch sides because this one just seemed like it'd be easier to work on for no particular reason. I just hated the other side. Put this in here. So we get this side clipped in over here. And then there's a clip up here. Clip that in and then that's it. Just wish there was something that held it in right here. I might, I might add something. Maybe once the middle one's in, it'll hold it better. I don't know. Let's try that. It's supposed to stay up here. Installs done, this is the left and the right side. And then of course the center adds a little more black to the front of the car, which I like. They are not completely symmetrical. That's okay, I, I doubt a lot of people are gonna go up and say, well, this one looks like it's a quarter inch deeper in than that one over there. Uh, maybe people will, I don't know. I feel like the quality's good, uh, the fitment's pretty good and I feel like they look fantastic. There's just nothing better for the price. And the big advantage of the Zunsport grills is that you don't have to take the bumper off to install them. So hopefully this helps a little bit with preventing big rocks from hitting the radiator. Overall, I think it's a great product. I recommend it. I think it's a good addition to any 911.
Oh yeah, it totally did come from the United Kingdom. It says fragile, and then uh, unfortunately it's been crushed pretty bad. So we're gonna open it up and see if it's all right. Okay, I took the wrapping off. You can see the crushing a little bit better. That's, yeah, I don't, I don't know. Okay, I got it unpacked. It looks all right. I think we are in good shape. I don't know if this is bent or not. I think it's supposed to be bent like that. So, yeah, as far as I can tell, everything looks okay. Pretty excited. Got this Zun Sport loyalty card. That's that's why I did this, actually. I'll be excited to put this in.